What's good YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual. Back at it like a motherfucking crack egg today with a very special video on the Jordan 7 Royale. Today guys, we are doing a review on the upcoming Jordan 7 Ray Allen set to release on June 1st. Ray Allen, initially drafted by the Bucks, joined Jordan Brand in 1997. Ray Allen has been a member of Jordan Brand for as long as Jordan Brand has been its own brand. The Jordan 13 was the first shoe to release under the Jordan brand umbrella before him being a part of Nike, but then becoming its own brand. And Ray Allen was one of the first people to be on that brand. And back in 2002, Ray Allen sported his own brand of PEs, the Jordan 7 Ray Allen in the home and in an away colorway. The home colorway, I believe, was featuring the all white pair that we all seen of a Ray Allen and then the black pair being the away pair. The main difference between the Ray Allen then and the Ray Allen now was that the upper was full leather as well as you had embroidery stitching of a 34 right here. Now they brought it back in 2019. It looks very similar to the original. However, it stated that it's a new book now instead of a leather. You do have the Ray Allen signature line on the inside of the shoe right there, Ray. Bambada. We've seen this a lot in the Jordan 13s and Jordan 11s. We always see that Ray Allen signature, which I actually like a lot. So I'm happy that they brought that back to the shoe and didn't take too much away from it because I honestly did want leather on this sneaker. However, as Bull had said, you know, maybe if they would have put leather, the leather quality wouldn't have been as good. I would have loved to have seen that leather though with that 34, but you know, to each his own, we can't get everything and it is what it is. One thing I like about this shoe in general though, and somebody actually mentioned this in a comment section like a couple days ago, that the cut on the shoe is very similar to the Bordeaux. A shoe that I did not have, I didn't really like the cut on the Bordeaux. However, I think these are slightly better than the Bordeaux as far as cut wise, because on the Bordeaux, this sat so much higher than the tongue, but on this pair, everything seems to be a little flush up on the anklet as well as the tongue. The tongue wasn't as short because on the border, I felt like the tongue was just a little bit too short. But overall, I love the sneaker. The black and purple accents with the gray accents as well. Super clean. Black, purple, Steve Urkel on your jerkle. You already know what time it is. The tongue has that Bucks colorway. And yes, the Bucks did take an L, but we're not. I'm not looking at the Giannis Bucks. You know, Giannis, my bad, Giannis. I know y'all hate me saying Giannis. The Giannis Bucks. I'm looking at the Ray Allen Bucks, okay? Back when Ray Allen was dunking on niggas. Back when Ray Allen had hair. But this is like, this is like prime peak Jesus Shuttlesworth. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I like this shoe. I like the throwback feel to it. I like the story behind it. And that's really what sells Jordan Brand at this time is the stories behind it. These are releasing on June 1st. And I stated in my previous video that I thought these would sell out. And I kind of stand on it in some degree. I don't feel like these will like sell out instantly. I do feel like the over time they will go. Now, will we see these at outlets? I would say, I'm not gonna say 100% no. I will say, I say they likely sell out then they hit outlets 60, 40. However, who knows? We've seen a lot of shoes hit outlets. I mean, Legend Blues have hit outlets. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's tons of shoes that are great, that are dope, that hit outlets. However, I think these are gonna do fairly well just because they're a seven and also for the fact that they're this Ray Allen colorway. You know, what could honestly also happen is that they sell it online, but they end up hitting outlet stores or they end up sitting in the stores and they hit the outlets. You feel what I'm saying? So you just gotta wait and see, you know? I'll leave it up to you if you wanna cop them or not. I'm definitely gonna cop them. I'm definitely gonna keep them in my collection. How long, I don't know, but I do like this colorway. It reminds me a lot of the Raptors. However, it is a shoe for Ray Allen. So make sure you guys go and check them out. They'll be releasing on June 1st. Soul Play will have them first come, first serve. There's other sites like Sneakers app. These should be pretty available to get your hands on, so don't like stress yourself out. But overall, I think it's gonna be a dope shoe that you will like at the end of the day. And if you got the chance, if you got the money, spend some of that honey and uh, be an Easter bunny, you feel what I'm saying? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm gonna end this guys off with the on foot. It's your boy Tony D2Wild, checking in, checking out.